next lesson now. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to input uh, values in, in uh, variables. So we'll start with a new page again. We'll say include again because we're dealing with input and output. So we'll put stdio.h main. Okay, we're going to input um, characters as well as integers. Okay, to demonstrate both. So we're going to create the first variable called char characters. Okay. And a couple of integers as well, A and B. Okay. So what we've said there is there's a variable called characters and it's a char type which is a character type so it would hold one character and there's one called uh, a b a and b and they're both um, integer types so now we're going to print a message and we're going to say um, printf um, enter a character so the user is required to enter a character enter a, a any character okay now what we use to um, draw uh, that the input or or what's entered in the keyboard is a command called scanf, and the type that we're going to actually take into this um, variable is going to be a character. So what I demonstrated before is this percent um, keys. So the, so now we put percent c, comma and we're going to enter it inside characters so we do that and symbol okay, so what's going to happen is it's going to say enter any character and it's going to have a uh, command or cursor uh, and the user is required to enter a character and it would go inside the variable character Next, we're going to say printf. Oops, printf. Enter two um, whole numbers. So what we need to do is now we need to capture two numbers and they're going to be both separated by um, space. So we put percent %d because these are going to be these are going to be integer numbers. Uh, so we put the percent %d again. And this time we're going to put 2 and a comma and b. Okay, so that's about it. So now that's that's basically um, captured the first um, item, which is going to be a character, and the next two are going to be integers, and that's captures it th there in scanf in this command here. So we're going to now display um, the results. So we need to put up another printf. because now it's type character so and we're going to put a new line before we forget it like the last time and now we just put character yep everything looks fine good so that would print the result or the inputted uh, character out here 
printf again the whole numbers oops let's put that capital the numbers or the two numbers the two numbers entered were percent d and where we put percent d is where it's actually going to return the value that's entered in a and the second one is going to enter the next value which is inside b okay if we wanted to return the results in the float we could have put percent f here but in this case we just put in percent d's just to make that clear and we should put a new line here as well comma a comma b and that's about it I see the output of that hopefully it should work so we now save it save as the examples oh we're straight in the directory okay so what we're going to call this one input var okay so we'll save that now we're going to put compile looks like it's worked now we're going to build okay so now we're going to put this window down go into here dir oh let's just put cd c examples dir w oops EIR top here and what did we call it? VAR type. No, we didn't call it VAR type, we put input VAR and we see it here input VAR EXE. So we don't even need to put the EXE. input var has it turned into executable let's have a look at what went wrong Oop, let's have a look at that ok so that looks all fine did we click on build yep we have a problem what's the problem cannot declare an undefined type we'll have a look at that now okay so what have we done wrong here we've put forgot to put the hash at the top here um, here we've put the S which is wrong uh, what else have we forgot oh there's a C missing here character so let's have a try at running that now let's say compile okay no error messages didn't notice there was an error message before let's have a look at that again compile okay that's done as well so that was the only couple of mistakes that we've done okay we're going to go back to the C prompt now and we'll put dirw it should show us now the var types.exe let's try running that now nope that's, it wasn't called var types it was called input var is input var there? yep it is input var it says enter a character so hope you can see that so I'm gonna put C and now it says enter two whole numbers separated by space I'm gonna put 12 and I'm gonna put let's say 2000 and I press enter and it tells me here the letter entered was C and the two numbers entered were 12 and 2000 so that's this example